we're going to work on today and uh, so if you can see it that's absolutely great and I've already okay I've already noticed that some games have or finished very 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 quickly because one player knows a trap a quick way of getting a checkmate that some of the others don't okay so let me show you what that trap is not particularly because you can play it on other people yeah but particularly on how to avoid it yeah because if you lose you've got 20 minutes of your thinking time and 20 of theirs which is a good 40 minutes if you finished in two or three minutes okay you've got to hang around for another 37 minutes before you can play your next game so we're going to have a look, first of all, at what's called scholar's mate, or some people know it as the four move checkmate. I know it. You've heard some yeah, of these? Yeah. Right, I also good. Let's, let's have a look at this. Now this is, this is uh, something that quite a few beginner players uh, do because it's a quick way of getting checkmate. In reality, yeah? If you just win a game in four moves, yes, you get the point. Yes, you win the game. But quite honestly, you don't learn very much because all you've done is do what, done what you, you were shown before. You don't get to play a game of chess. So let's see if we can make your games go a little bit longer and you can learn a little bit more from it. Now, the four move checkmate is more correctly known as scholar's mate. And as you know, a scholar is like a student. Somebody stud studies the game. And the four move checkmate is a checkmate by white on black in guess how many moves? Four. Four, excellent. So what we to get a four move checkmate, okay, you have to notice in Black's army where the weakness is in his defense. Now, if you're gonna attack any point in his defense, like here, okay. I would say that's going to be a bit tricky because he's got one defender, two defender, three defender, four defenders on that point. This is not a good place to attack. You'd have to attack it five times or more. And that's going to be really hard to attack that point. Likewise this one, okay? But there is one point which has not only got one defender, but that defender is also the king. Yeah, do you know which one it is? Can you give me a letter? A letter and a number. Which one do you think? F7. F7, look at this point. This point here is like the, the armor of Black's defense has got a weak spot here. This is Paul is only defended by the king once. Now, I know that if I can attack it twice, two is bigger than one. Yeah, so I can probably take it. Okay? I keep chess very, very simple. So if I can attack that twice, that point. So let's let's watch how White does it. Well, White might open with this move. Okay? Other moves are possible. Okay? But let's say he does this. He's got the plan of trying to get the bishop out and the queen out. And we'll talk about getting the queen out in a minute. And say, let's just say, black decided to do the, a, 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 a copycat move, the same move. It's not a bad move, it's quite a good move in fact. In, pa in fact one of the golden rules, which some of you may know, is to try and control the centre. Because the centre is the top of the hill. And if you know anything about sort of medieval battles, it, or, or even prehistory battles, if you, if you put your army on top of the hill, Certainly if you had archers, on top of the hill was a good place for them because they could fire further. If you were down in the valley and you had archers, they can't fire anywhere near as far far enough hill. And if you were unlucky to be a knight in shining armour, I would much rather be on top of the hill than a knight having to charge in armour up the hill to get to the top. Because I'd be pretty tired by the time we get to the top. I've always found running downhill a lot easier than that. So trying to get control of the top of the hill, these four squares and to a lesser extent the four round it, is like a top of a top of a hill. I, I always I never see the chessboard as being flat. It's flat to everyone else, but it's got a big hill on. 
and that I want to control the top of the hill. Now, so we've had two moves here, and it's time for White to do something. And White, in the four move checkmate, gets his bishop out to this square. And I ask you just to consider where is it pointing at? What square? F7, yeah, the vulnerable spot in white's, in black's defences, okay? And now, let's assume that black hasn't seen what white's up to. They don't know about scholars, mate. They never heard about the four move checkmate. And I'll just make one move for them. Say they do this, maybe they're trying to get the bishop out, I don't know. Now it's white's move again. And white brings another piece to attack this point. Now, you can move the queen to this square to go and take it, or you can move the queen to this square. Both are possible. Okay? And having gone here, let's say E black doesn't spot one attacker, two attackers, one defender, which is bigger, two or one? Chase, genius. Right, so we've got two attackers and one defender. And we know that two is bigger than one. So let's say they do something else. I'll, I'll bring them down to town. Why not? And now white can take this pawn because if he takes this way, okay, the bishop is actually safe because the king can't take it because guess what? He loses king. And the rules say you're not allowed to put your king in check and be taken. That's one of the rules. You're not allowed to put it in check and be taken. However, you can get out of the check. Does anyone know how many ways there are to get out of the check? Okay, well, I have to see one here on the board. Generally, there are how many different... The generally, there's three ways. One way, okay, is to take it. One way is to block it. Well, here I can't actually block it at all. And the other way is to move the king. Now here, I actually can't take it, okay? Because if he did, uh-uh, I get my king taken, so I lose it, okay? But I can move here, so it's not actually checkmate. What we could do, and a lot of people think this is really risky, is to actually take it with the queen. <gasps> oh no, he's gonna take my queen. I lose my queen, my precious best fighting piece. But actually, I don't take it. Because guess what will happen? This little hang bishop all the way over here will come down and take my king. So what we what we say is the queen is defended by the bishop. Okay? It's safe. He can't take it. Okay? The queen. The queen is safe in this because it's defended by the bishop. Now I can't block it, well I can't block it, that's what it's got is right next to it. Uh, but I can move the king, but does it help? No, the queen moves it. So that, that is checkmate. It's check, and it can't save his king. Yeah, yeah, question? Oh, it's going to come out and work with the undemo. What, what are we going to say? So when the queen's up here, yeah. there is one way to block it. Well, uh, there might well be. I. Right, okay. Let's let's go back and let's have a look because you've made a very good point. Because I just want to show you something then that will help you. And then we'll look then we'll look how to stop this for black. What my friend was saying was that after you put the queen out here, which is good, okay, to go and do the checkmate, he's saying if you spot it. You can move the pawn up one. Sorry, Daniel, you. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. There's, you've got to watch out if you move this pawn. Up. Yes, it stops the checkmate, but Black has second a second prize. First prize will be getting a checkmate. Second prize is that in this position, he can move the queen over here and. I think you know what the full move checkmate is. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I see you've been doing it well. Okay. <laughs> and now it's check, but this is what we call in, in chess tactics a double attack. I'm attacking the king and I'm attacking the rook. It's not checkmate, okay? Because we know there's three ways out. There's, you can take the queen. No, can't take it. 
We can block it so we can get out that way. Could we move the king? Uh, no, it's gonna have to be a block. And then we take the... So it's, you don't get a checkmate, but five point rook is a good start, isn't it? Okay, now let's look how you might, how you might stop it completely. Let's put them all back. Pawn here, if they do the same. Okay, and you bring the bishop out. There are two ways. The best, one way is just simply to bring this knight out. Because remember, when the queen took the pawn, now they can't take it. That's a good way. But yeah. quite frankly, if it was you there, I would say, if you've got this position, the best move, just get this knight out now. Because it's a good idea to get your pieces out. Don't make too many pawn moves. Just get this knight out. Now let's see. Say the person only knows, has only learned the four move checkmate. I'll show you what they will do now. If it's the only thing they know how to do, they'll put the queen over here to try and get a checkmate. What would you do here? Let's have a thing. Go on then. You haven't done someone. What would you do? No, no, if the, if the queen had gone here and you were black. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you put this knight out straight away on move two, if they put the queen here, oh, thank you very much. And you can take the queen for free. Okay, good start. How many points of queen was? Nine. No. Good start. Go on. Also, yeah. what if they move the queen to F3? Though? Well, they can move the queen to F3. But in this case, with the knight here, they can't do the check knight on me because they can't jump over the knight. Only piece they can jump is the knight itself. So that's not quite going to work. Eh? If, they, if they take the knight, take them? Oh, well, if they take the knight, they'll get three points for a knight, but I can either take them with the queen or the pawn and get nine points. So. You know, losing three and gaining nine is definitely a good idea for black. Okay. So that's a very good way of stopping it. Okay. If you want to encourage them to try the four move checkmate, bring it on. Yeah. You can do this move, which says, come on, come on, let's see if you're going to attack me there then. But I'm cleverly defending my pawn here. And if they go over here, to try the checkmate, a bad move, uh, honestly, a bad move would be to bring the knight out. It's too late now. Queen takes pawn, checkmate. But we can do this move again. Now remember last time when we saw it, okay, the queen took the pawn check and won the rook. But I, I cleverly on the second move defended it. Now they can bring the queen back. They're still now going for a checkmate. This is br luring them on. And now there's no problem. You can bring the knight out again. Notice how it's defended by the queen. Yeah? And they've got one last trick. Yeah? The one last trick they can try is to move the pawn up and move the pawn again. And the knight will go, oh, it's a pawn. I'm frightened. And it might run away. And then queen takes pawn into checkmate. But in fact, in after pawn up, black, black has all the fun now because black can start their own attack with knight in here. Okay. And now they're threatening the queen. And the queen might have to go somewhere. Okay. But not only is the knight attacking the queen, the knight is thinking it might go one, two, and one to the side and go here, check, and, pin, and take the rook in the corner. So this is quite a tricky position for white. They need to know what they're going to do. The worst move on the board, which I have seen play, not today, is to put the queen here. Why do you think that might be a bad move? I know why you think, go on. Oh, knight takes spawn check. Who's, who's doing all the attacking now? It was, White was, but now it's white. Now look, look at it. Knight attacks the king, check. Knight attacks the rook, knight attacks the queen. Do you know what we call that? 
A triple fork, yep, we can do that. Some people call it a family fork because the king, the queen, and the castle, the rook, are all attacked. So that's a pretty good triple fork. Um, which one would you take? Well, hang about. First of all, it's my go. I've got three ways out of check. I take it, block it, or move it. Can I take it? Can I block? Can't block tonight. Knights jump over things, so I can't block it, can I? So I'm going to have to move my king. I don't know there or there or there. And we got a choice. Um, 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 which which one would you take? If it was up to you, you can. He's going to take the queen. Okay. Well, he's going to take the queen. He's going to win nine fighting points. He's going to lose three. So he's six better off. You, if, you, if you took this one, that's not bad. You'd be five better off. But mm, I wonder if the knight will ever get back out again. If it was me, I think you're absolutely right. I'd be taking with the, with the queen. Right. So that is Scholar's Mate, or the four-move checkmate. And let me just recap how we are going to stop it. They, this is okay, it's a fine move, you can do this as black. As soon as they bring the, the bishop out here, you can go, ha ha ha, I know what you're, no, don't tell them that, don't give it away. You know what they're up to, okay? They're gonna bring the queen out to here or here. So if it was me, I would be bringing this knight out straight away and saying, right, bring your queen out here, it does nothing. Bring your queen out here and I'll take it, yeah? What do you want? Question? It's just way to defend it. Oh, right. Yeah. Great idea. The only thing I would say about that, be a little bit careful, yeah? Because if they manage to... I know they've got, I'm going to give them two moves. If they go queen here and move this pawn up, one or two, what they could be thinking of doing is destroying your defender, yeah? And when your poor knight can't defend it anymore because it's been taken, then they'll take it, all right? It, it'll work, but just be careful. If they're, they're a bit sneaky, they will try and kill this knight, yeah? And then take it, all right? I, I, I think this is, is, is probably a better way of doing it, but your way, will work, just be careful that they don't remove the knight, remove the defence and then take it. Alright? Okay? So, that's it. this is a good way of stopping it. Now of course there are other moves. Okay? Okay? You don't have to move this pawn up too on your first go. There's lots of new good moves you can do. If you wanted to, there's nothing wrong with moving it up just one. And then if they do go here, is this bishop attacking that? No! So they can't do it. This move would stop absolutely the full move checkmate. In fact, it's got a name. Uh, I think it was popularised in France, which is why they call it the French defence. Um, sort of early 1800s, probably even earlier than that. And it is also a favourite with, guess who? Mr Nick Pert. He plays this a lot. Okay. Ever since I've known him, when he was even smaller than you, yeah, he's been playing that, okay? And it stops the four move checkmate straight away. The idea is that um, he's gonna play this as his second move, and he's gonna attack and fight for the center, but not in the way some other people try and do it. Now, can I just point out one of that, and then we'll finish, okay? There is another checkmate, and this